Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video review is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to do another two for one, but I have one style in two different colors. So technically I'm going to be trying on three wigs for you guys. I recently reviewed Janet Collection's Kiara and I fell in love with that wig, but she wasn't the only wig that recently launched a part of the Natural Me collection. They also released Yana and Zara. I was saying one like Zaya, I think. I don't know, but I said it wrong that whole video. Anyways, I have both of those wigs to try on for you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I got and then we'll get right on into this video. If you are new here and you are not already subscribed and you know you like videos like this and you wanna see more, go ahead and hit that button, turn on your notifications so you never miss an upload from me. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started in today's video. I think I'm gonna start off with Yana, which is the shorter version out of all three that recently launched. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this one on for you guys first. I have this one in a color number two. I only got this one in one color because I knew it was a shorter length and I just don't know how I'm gonna feel about it because I am so tall and I didn't want it like hugging my chin. You know what I'm saying? Because here's what it looks like on the model. It's right at her chin. So girl, I don't know where it's gonna hit me. So. We're just gonna see. So here she is. Let me make sure she's all in the frame because she is already fluffy. Wow. Okay, so it looks like she's already set as a right side part. Kiara was a left side part. So as far as the cap construction goes, you get two little combs right here on the left and right hand side of the part. You get a comb in the back as well as adjustable straps. It does come with light brown lace and this is what the parting space is looking like. So let's go ahead and throw this wig on just to see how she fits and we'll go ahead and get into the styling portion of this video. I'm gonna try to not make this video super long because I'm trying on three wigs. So I don't want this video to be like, you know, 30 minutes long, but I'm gonna try my best. Okay, this is not bad. Oh, yikes. I don't know how I, okay. Um, Here is what the hairline is looking like and the parting space. I don't know how I feel about this bang area. The model looks like she has it more like in her face. I don't know. So I'm going to go ahead and style this wig and I'll be back to give you guys my final thoughts and opinions on Miss Yana. I don't want to judge her too soon. So I'm going to style it and I'll be back to give you guys my thoughts and opinions. So. <music> styling Yana and this is what it's looking like honestly it was a really easy wig to style I really didn't do much at all I did tweeze a little bit right here along the hairline only because I felt like you really couldn't see the parting space so I tweezed just a few hairs right out of that area and then I really wasn't loving how it was falling directly over my face and it is kind of a long bang area so I thought that that was kind of awkward with how it was laying that it would be so long so I just used a bobby pin to kind of like push it back and you know move it over towards the side a little bit more so that it wasn't directly in my face and that was it um y'all maybe because I went into it thinking that I really wasn't going to be feeling this wig that's probably why I'm not really feeling it right now but I just don't love it on me I mean it's cute I'm not saying it's like a bad wig or anything like that I just don't know how I feel about it for me actually I do I just don't like it <laughs> I'm not saying that this is a bad wig. It's cute. It's a really cute style. I don't have many cons with this wig. It sheds a little bit. I don't know about the tangling. I'm not running my fingers through these cute little curls. But as for me and how it looks on me, I just don't personally 
love it. But you could love this wig if you tried it out. It is a really cute style. I have gotten a little bit of shedding with this wig. Obviously right here in the front, I'm expecting a little bit of shedding because I did go in and tweeze. But if I reach in, you know, in the back area, I do get a few, you know, hairs here and there, nothing crazy. Um, but yeah, there's really nothing much else that I have to mention about this wig. I wish that it wasn't super humpy right here around the parting space. And I'm kind of nervous to go in with any type of hot tool. I didn't burn Kiara, but I've seen a lot of other people burn um, their wig. So I'm just kind of like treading lightly. So that is one thing like I wish the parting space wasn't as bulky and full. And right now it does look like it's a little bit you know, tamed right around the parting space, but I think that's because I have this tucked away and kind of like pulled back with the bobby pin. So yeah, I think that this is a cute wig. It's really not for me, it's not my type of style. It is reminding me a lot of Bobby Boss Shirley. I reviewed that wig about a month ago, maybe a couple weeks ago. Um, and honestly, with this wig, I was gonna do the whole bang thing, but then I remembered that I just did that with Shirley. So I was like, no, let me do something different. It's sitting on me about 10 inches right at my chin. I'm six feet tall, so if you are shorter than me, it's going to hang a little bit lower on you. And yeah, that's really all that I have to say. I'm gonna go ahead and switch into Miss, what's her name? I'm gonna go ahead and switch on into Miss Zara. I have Zara in two colors. I have the 99J and I also have a number two. So we're gonna go ahead and transition into that wig. I'll show you guys the cap construction. I'm sure it's the same, but you never know. I believe it's actually a middle part, but yeah, I'll show you guys the cap construction and all that. And then we'll get right into the styling portion and I'll give you guys my full thoughts and opinions at the end of this video. And I'll probably tell you guys which one out of the three wigs from this new launch I like best. So yeah, I will be right back to show you guys Miss Yana. No, Zara, damn. Keep on getting much darker Even when 
Alright guys, I'm back and I'm done styling Zara. I showed you guys how she looked in a number two, but I wanted to save the 99J for last because I haven't tried this color within the Janet Collection Newly Me or Naturally Me line that they have. And I really like it. However, I don't feel like this is a true 99J. It's kind of giving me like 530. It's very very bright. I feel like a 99J is kind of like a number four. Sometimes they're super dark and then sometimes they're like really light and you're like, what is the deal? But this 99J is bright. So if you are not somebody who loves like super bright red hair, you probably want to steer clear from the 99Js within this collection. That's just my first observation. Let's go ahead and get into my pros and cons about Miss Zara. The first pro for me is the length. I love it. It's coming like right here at my clavicle. It's about 12, 14, probably about 14 inches on me. I love the fullness. It's just like a longer version of Jenna and y'all know Jenna was bae, okay? Another pro that I had with more so the number two than the 99J was the cap size. That number two was almost big on my head. Then I was kind of shocked when I put this one on. It was a little bit snug. It's not small or anything like that. It just fits a little bit more snug than the number two. So if you get this wig in a natural color and you have a big head, girl, you gonna be set. Cause I was like, damn, like, am I gonna have to go in and adjust the straps? Because this is feeling really roomy in here. And it's just like a different feeling cause my head's so big and usually these wigs, I kind of snug on my head, but these ones, you know, they fit really nice. So I wanted to mention the style as a pro, but I feel like it can also be a con. So we're gonna do like a two in one and then we'll transition into the cons. So this style is a pro because I do love these curls. Um, they're really cute. They're very bouncy and lightweight. I love how light and airy these wigs are. I just think that they feel really good. But it's also a con because the curls aren't uniform throughout this wig. And I don't mean like which way they curl. I mean that they're tighter here in the back and very loose in the front. And it kind of looks very frizzy. Like it does not look like this wig is brand new. You know what I'm saying? In my opinion, I feel like this is what a wig looks like after wearing it you know, like two to three times and brushing out, kind of like pulling on the front. Y'all, I did not try to run my fingers through this hair at all. I tweezed a little bit in the parting space and then just tried to remove the shed hair and that was it. So for these curls in the front here to be looking like this already, and I haven't even had this wig on but 30 minutes, it's I'm not really feeling that with the number two I didn't get much shedding at all but I'm definitely getting more shedding with this color that I have on right here it's kind of like a consistent shed so that's not the greatest but as long as you're not like pulling on the hair you should be okay as far as tangling goes like I said in my previous video and I said it earlier when I tried on Yana I'm not running my fingers through these curls I really think that it's kind of pointless having a style like this and then running your fingers through it, I feel like you're bound to get tangling. So on the tangling aspect, I can't talk because I ain't running my fingers through this hair. Another thing that I don't like is if you do pull on the curls, they just fall. Like they don't even spring back into action, nothing. So this piece right here just completely lost its curl. And I mean, I guess I could go in with like a flexi rod or something and you know, hot water set that back, but like, I'm not about to do that. <laughs> so that's a con for me. I wish that the curls in the front were just as tight as these curls back here, just so that it looked more uniform. I love when curly wigs kind of have that like lived in feel, but with this type of texture, it just goes straight from new to frizzy. This wig went from new to frizzy in about 2.2 seconds. Um, another thing that I didn't love was the parting space. Y'all, where did it go? Because I put this wig on and I was about to apply my powder and I really couldn't even find the part. So I went in with a little bit of foundation right here in the front and then I tried to do it, you know, going back, but girl, like, it's narrow in there. So I was just like, you know what, forget it. <laughs> I think those are the only things that I don't like about this wig. I'm kind of loving this color on me, especially with my eyes. It's giving me like brave, like the Disney movie brave. I feel like that right now. So I'm feeling very like powerful and empowered and I'm here for it. Here is a better look at the length. I'm kind of trying to mess with my camera setup at the moment and this hair is so big. I feel like I'm not really like in the frame very well. 
Now that I have tried out all three wigs that recently launched within this collection, I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys my kind of like rating and I'm going to tell you which one was my favorite and which one was my least favorite. So starting out, I think my favorite is Kiara. Y'all, I just love that wig. I love the length, I love the curls. It just was so super cute and I really like loved all the pictures that I took in that wig and I could definitely see myself wearing it again. My second favorite would have to be this wig, particularly in this color. I'm really feeling it in this color. And even though she does have a few cons, she is a look, okay? And my third favorite would have to be Yana. And I really just think it's because of the length. I just wasn't feeling how it was looking. I also didn't love the bang like right in my face. I definitely recommend you guys purchasing Kiara if you haven't already. She is bomb and I kind of want to try it in a 99J now, but I'm going to stop. I need to chill. My wallet is like, no. I also think that you guys would really like Zara depending on what look you're going for. Make sure you watch plenty of reviews to get everybody's thoughts and opinions. And as far as Yana goes, I mean, she's cute. She's all right. So if you want to purchase that one you know be my guest all these wigs are about $25 they range between 25 and 27 if I'm not mistaken I will leave links to all three in the description box below as well as my review on Kiara if you missed it and yeah I think that's it for this video you guys I hope you enjoyed it if you want to see more two-in-ones like this or if you want to see me feature one wig but in multiple colors let me know because since I got you and if you made it this far in this video and you are still not subscribed girl I see you I know who you are and I know you're gonna be back so you might as well subscribe turn on the notifications so you don't miss my next upload and I will catch you guys in my next video bye